Hello everyone and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and today we're going to be talking about the updated five infantry army setups. So you guys have been asking me for it every day for the last like month. I want to make sure I give you an updated guide now that we have some new infantry commanders out. On top of that, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Um, this one's going to be more for a, a blended combo infantry approach. We can go full tank. That's an option. You won't go down very easily, but you're going to have a massive amount of severely wounded and you're not going to cause too, too much damage. But if that's your role, right, that's a role. You can have five full super tanky infantry armies. And I think we kind of covered a little bit of that on my last video about this topic. Um, then you'll do just fine. You'll be buffing, you'll be debuffing, you'll be super tanky. It'll be really hard to take down, but you're going to have a large healing bill and it's going to be impactful. So um, pluses and minuses, right? This one's going to be a little bit more of a hybrid where you can cause a good amount of damage, still be super tanky, and utilize some of the newer commanders that are out right now that you can, um, again, do a lot of things all at the same time. So let's jump right into it. Uh, as you can see, I am on my main account here, and this is currently residing in uh, K93, so we're about to go into um, KVK here in the next day or two, and I'm going to be doing a video on that soon so if you have not done so already please hit the subscribe button please hit the like button hit the bell notification all those good things you'll be getting tons of content coming your way from this channel very shortly every day so let's go ahead and jump into it so first off let's jump out first one is going to be our tried and true this does do some good tankiness as well as damage you've got the skill damage from alex you've got the tankiness from richard it, it works really, really well together. There is a different way you can pair these guys, and we can talk about that in the comments below. Please do. Um, but for my five infantry army pairing that I'm going to be going after, um, this is, to me, the way to go. Um, it gives me a little bit of both. It gives me the best of both worlds. Uh, and also the, the debuffs as well is kind of where we should be firing it off at. So when you do that, and you bust him out, again, when you put him out here on the pairing, you get the heal from Richard, and you get the um, you get the nuke, the tankiness, the debuffing, all that good stuff from Alex. It's just the best of both worlds. Let's go and bring out our next pairing. We've got Constantine and YSG. You got to find a way to pair in YSG inside of here. He just does so much damage. He's a rage engine as well, having that second skill give 100 uh, extra rage whenever it procs. Uh, and then also, again, the extra 50% skill damage, you want to have that on the map all the time. There's no question about it. And then with Constantine, I like pairing him with Constantine because of the support skill tree. You want to go ahead and pair that up because um, with the rejuvenate skill and the support tree being 150 rage uh, generated with the rejuvenate skill there, uh, on top of, again, all the active skill damage bonuses and skill damage reduction that you get with Constantine's support tree. This is a good pairing. Um, you don't necessarily get the skill tree, um, but you do get the support tree. And it's not quite as damage dealing, but it's faster firing on these skills. So uh, it tends to kind of even out a little bit. So this is my second pairing here. I'm going to go ahead and fire him off as well. Again, full infantry on this guy. You can see we already took out some things with uh, Richard Alex. We're going to go ahead and fire him up. And while he's walking over there, he's meandering over there, we're going to be doing number three. And that's another tried and true, Charles, uh, Charles Sun Tzu. Now, you can swap Sun Tzu here with Julius if you want to. That's a really good pairing as well. It'll also give you some extra troops on the battlefield too. And if you've got a maxed, he does actually have a little bit of nuke as well with his expertise, this 400 damage factor. However... Uh, again, I do just like having Sun Tzu on the map just because, again, the AoE damage that you're getting. Uh, Mechmed would also work here uh, to some certain extent, although I really do prefer Mechmed to be a um, to be a rallier only. But my third army for sure, though, the way I like it is going to be Sun Tzu Charles. That's just the way to go, in my opinion. Looks like we made short work of those guys as well. Now we're heading over and getting Charles Sun Tzu onto this 25 here. Why the heck not? And again, I really do like this pairing here. Constantine YSG, it does a good amount of damage. It's very tanky. You get the double heal um, with the fourth skill from Constantine. Again, once per hour. And um, yeah, that's the way to go in my opinion. All right, as that one's starting to attack, let's go ahead and pull out the fourth army here. 
Now this is a little bit different because again we've got a new commander on the field, uh, Guan, and I've got him at level 60. He's 5553 right now, uh, and he's almost to 5554, so I'm very close to going ahead and get him expertise as well. But um, he's close enough to call for government work, so I'm going to go ahead and um, put him in this guide. He's definitely worthwhile. Now, again, this is where I was thinking you can kind of mix some things up. You can do Guan Alex here instead of Richard Alex, and then have Richard with Joan, or you can have Richard with Mehmed, uh, like you have here, or Richard with Julius. That's the different swappings that you I would recommend that you take a look at. Again, because uh, Guan has the skill damage tree, though, I do like the pairing with Mehmed. Again, you get the extra um, troop capacity here. The, the, the damage buffs all stack. The fact that he has quadruple nukes here, the additional damage factor, all those things kind of factor in uh, to his skill build with Mehmed working on the battlefield. Again, I prefer Mehmed as a rallier. And honestly, guys, this combo as a rallying pair is going to be devastating. Just devastating. This is going to be a fireworks display going off on somebody's city. And um, those those numbers, those red numbers that are going to be floating up against um, atop of those cities is going to be fairly large. We're talking 80 plus thousand each. And these things are ticking two, three, four, five times. So again, these, these are going to be stacking up quite nicely. Um, this is going to be one of the premier rallying pairs outside of Attila Takeda. Um, anything Mechmed really, so YSG Mechmed, Genghis Mechmed, um, and then again, Juan Mechmed for the infantry version of that is going to be devastating. But it will work on the open battlefield as well. Again, you're going to get a lot of damage out of this pairing, but expect Juan to get targeted right away on the battlefield, especially if the other options are Richard, Charles, Constantine, and then this other army as well that I'm about to show you. And it's going to be a little bit of a different thing um because this is an infantry video but it's going to be a little bit different but let's go ahead and in fact i want to see the damage this thing puts out this is also a fantastic combo in sunset canyon as well guys fantastic combo all right we're killing everything we need to we need to stop killing stuff so fast let's jump over here and i'll go ahead and pull off the pull out the other one because it's going to take some description Sound and Takeda. <laughs> Sound and Takeda is my fifth infantry march, guys. Again, we're not infantry. This is going to be full cav, but hear me out. Hear me out on this, okay? So, first off, Takeda is everything here. Takeda is everything. Um, first off, again, if you're going up against other infantry, Saladin's going to debuff everything as far as healing and things like that. Skill damage reduction is really good. Um, but Takeda... Takeda's skill works really well in conjunction with full infantry, guys. Really well. Let's go ahead and see how this uh, Guan Mechmed plays. And as you can see, the base damage is very, very good. Uh, but watch these skills start to go off at, well, if we get the chance anyway. 27k, my goodness. So again, very, very nice. But hear me out on Saladin and Takeda, okay? So let's go to the commander trees or the commander um, screen here. And I am going to show you all the trees that I use as well, guys, so you can have that for your own personal use. So there's Takeda. Let's jump in. This is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. So um, the skills from Takeda marry so well <laughs> with infantry groups. It's insane. So uh, first off, Takeda Shinjin debuffs an enemy single target for four seconds each time this target receives a normal attack. That's normal attack, not from this army. It doesn't say from this army. It just says each time this, this target receives a normal attack, there is a 50% chance to receive an extra 50% normal attack damage. What is infantry known for? Normal and counterattack damage. This is buffing that by 50%. This effect can trigger once every two seconds. So again, this is going to be constantly firing off you know, every two seconds. This is good. This is a very good thing to have. Uh, again, this is also a super tanky army, a very tanky army. So, for instance, um, you know, we're talking about what you can do with... Um, oh, my goodness, the music. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the, the ability for you to use this as an infantry army is actually quite nice. So, again, it's super fast, so you have a little mobility here. The heals from Takeda are really good. Um, the nuke from Saladin is really good. And again, normal attack damage and counterattack damage reduction is very nice. And then when you're also looking at um, the 
the, uh, the expertise. Don't extra 30% normal attack damage to enemies who have been debuffed by Fierce's Fire. That's for this army only, so this does not apply to the other infantry groups. But this does. This primary does. This 50% debuff to normal attack damage is huge. With four full infantry armies firing away at a target that's been debuffed by Fierce's Fire. And then also, again, Saladin and Takeda work so well together with their tankiness, with the heals going off, with all the damage reduction, the skill damage reduction, the, um, the debuffing for normal attack damage as well. These guys have massive amounts of de defense for um, Cav. And on top of that, skill damage reduction from uh, Saladin's uh, support and Cav trees. It's a great pairing for a 5th Infantry March. Now again... If you want to actually have a 5th Infantry March, you start to run out of stuff. So we've already used pretty much all of our uh, Infantry Commanders, which means you would need to nerf one of the other uh, groupings. So I would say you would have to remove Sun Tzu from Charles and use Julius there, and then use Sun Tzu with, um, with uh, Mehmed or Sun Tzu with Barca or something like that, uh, or Sun Tzu with Scipio if you're more of a free-to-play. Um, let me... Pause that. So, um, so yeah, just there's a couple different ways to do it, but I like this as a full five grouping pairing for infantry. And again, I know the fifth army is not infantry, but bear with me on that. Just kind of understand where my head's at there, and you'll appreciate it. It'll definitely work out for you. You'll like it. The damage will be increased. All those good things. So let's go through the talent builds. I want you guys to see what I use on my infantry pairings. Um, for my talent builds so that you can use them yourself if you want to do that. These are all on my Discord as well and will soon be on my website once I get that up and running for you guys. But until then, let's go ahead and show these off to you. This is Richard's talent build that I use. Now there's two variations of this that I use. When I want a little bit more um, rage generation and just tankiness in general, I put the four extra points down here in Desperate Elegy. Um, that gives me four out of five. Everything else is maxed out that you see on here that's colored in. If I want a little bit more mobility, I'll take those four points here and I'll put them into March Speed here and March Speed here. So you'll get an extra 12% March Speed if you move these four, four points from here to here. However, again, I've found that infantry just do not really need March Speed. <laughs> um, March Speed is nice, don't get me wrong, but... Um, it's really not too noticeable unless you're doing it for a rally. Uh, and even then, fast rally and those types of alliance technologies just do a lot more from an impact standpoint than your personal talent points here. Also, the skills from the commanders that you use are also very, very important. But I like this build overall um, because it gives me the uh, loose formation uh, ability with the skill damage reduction. It also gives me the extra tankiness from Testudo formation and hold the line. This is one of the best skills in the game. <laughs> you get 2% health for each point. That's fantastic. You don't really see that much out there. 1% defense here, 1% health over here, but I couldn't reach it. Um, but you get my idea. This is one of the best ones from a points per point, uh, stats per point perspective. Two points of health per point is fantastic. You have to have that. Um, I would not do any infantry build without this being a part of it. So that's my Richard build that I use as my five infantry army. Let's jump over to Constantine. Now, I'm not sure if I have him on garrison right now or not. I'm not. Okay. So I don't. Um, I've got the uh, Snare of Thorns build on here because this is my Sunset Canyon build. However, I really wouldn't adjust it much. I mean, if you want some more March speed, again, we talked about that. These three skills here will help you with March speed. This is basically an extra 18% march speed with the, with these three skills here. It takes seven points to get all those percentage points there. To get to elite soldiers, it's just too costly. You've got to put four points here, another two points here, another four points here, just to get five more points in elite soldiers. This is a very nice skill, but I don't necessarily think it's worth the extra 11 or 12 points it takes to get here. So again, you're not going to need anything from a siege perspective. Expert design is out. When healed, troops led by this commander will have their attack increased by 3% for the next 3 seconds. That's not bad, but again, um, he only has one heal, <laughs> and it only happens once. So um, having uh, 3 more points in here versus having three or 9% extra damage to Cav doesn't make sense, or the Rage Regeneration doesn't make sense. Certainly the 6% extra health percent doesn't make sense either, uh, whenever this only applies once every hour for 
three seconds. <laughs> so uh, wouldn't go after it. Everything else, though, definitely must have rejuvenate at 150 rage whenever skill is used. It's very, very good. Cage of Thorns, believe it or not, very, very effective. It's 25% duration or 25% uh, snare for three seconds, maximum of five targets. You're going to be fighting targets, especially in Ark of Osiris, Osiris League, Open Field, KBK, all that good stuff. Um, in large clumps, this is awesome. You should definitely have it, especially considering you don't have a whole lot of movement speed. But more importantly, this is going to help keep people in range of your AoEs, like with YSG, the YSG pairing with Constantine, and then also your, your alliance mates, your clan mates, your kingdom mates. They can come in and swoop in for the kills as well. It's a team game, guys. It's a team game. Let's play it that way. All right. So that's Constantine. Got Richard and Constantine done. Let's go to Charles. Charles, very same thing. We've got the health, we've got the hold the line, we've got Testudo, we've got loose formation. Again, desperate elegy here. I could have taken one point out of here and gone with one point in defense. You can definitely do that. But this is basically the exact same build I have on my Richard. Um, because again, you do have the extra heal here whenever you use a skill for medicinal supplies. Again, Testudo, hold the line. Uh, again, Master Armorer is really good. That's a star level skill. Uh, very, very good. And then the counterattack damage. Uh, dealt and then also the reduction of damage as well. These are all really good. The rage, re uh, the rage generation as well as the extra damage to cab, all very, very, very good. Cab is very prevalent, guys. So um, anything that you can do to damage, uh, boost the damage to those types of units is very good. So again, very similar, if not identical, with the exception of one point to the Richard build. All right, let's go to Guan. And again, I've already done a Guan mastery guide. Um, I think I may have done it a little bit differently because um, I went a little bit into the Conquering Tree. And I still may do that. Uh, I like the reduction of counterattack damage with Buckler Shield. 9% um, reduction is very, very nice. However, let's take a look at his skills really quick. So um, you've got massive nuke damage here. And also it's the silence for three seconds. Damage dealt to all targets will be decreased by 15% for each additional enemy. That's the YSG nerf hit play. Um, but again, it has a silence and a massive AoE. Very, very good. Normal attack damage bonus, 15%. Attack reduction, 30%. You've also got a conquering skill. Uh, infantry attack bonus of 30%. 15% uh, infantry march speed and 1,000 healing factor. Uh, very, very good. Uh, this is definitely nice upon leaving battle. And then your final skill here, this is the additional nuke on top of everything you're already doing. Uh, you have a 50% chance to cause... An additional thousand damage at max and when you hit two or more targets there's a 50 percent chance to hit an additional 1400 on top of that and then the uh, expertise is actually quite nice especially if you have the skullos coin um, whenever guan yu gains a shield which is what the skullos coin does he also increases his active skill damage by 15 percent for three seconds whenever guan yu leaves a structure he increases his march speed so again there's nothing defense in here so i just didn't feel like putting the nine points it takes to get here or i'm sorry seven points it takes to get here because then I got to remove something and I'm going to either remove, I'm going to have to likely remove feral nature or hold the line. And both of those are really good and they work all the time. Um, this is a 10% chance one, but I mean, it's, well, they're both 10% chance, I guess, but when they fire, they're, they're critical. They're, they're amazing. Um, 20% damage taken reduction, but, uh, for two seconds and this fires like, you know, three times every 10 seconds or something. It's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty darn good. And then once, um, yeah, this is exactly the way I would build it. I would just keep it this way. And, and again, I think I moved three of these uh, off uh, in the mastery guide. I'll have to take a double peek. But um, this is just so good. You can't get rid of six stats for three points. You just can't do it, especially when, when it's a stat like health, which is so universal and it helps everything. Um, but that's my build there. And again, this guy is just so good and he's so good in fact that i've put most of my gear on him i didn't even put um staff of the lost on here but i should or i might even put the golden age on him i'm not sure but this is definitely a quality skill uh and again saladin let me do the saladin for the final fifth infantry army again i understand guys i i don't want any hate down down in the comments as far as it not being a fifth infantry army use it and you'll understand what i'm talking about i promise you um this is my talent build for saladin open field right now I do have the, the Buckler Shield on him. I like Disarm, 10% chance to reduce the enemy's attack by 20% for the next two seconds. It's basically like hold the line, 
but again it just it takes a while a lot to get here you got three points here two points here and then four points to do it here that's nine extra points that's removing buckler shield altogether and i still don't have undying fury but rejuvenate is too good to pass up emergency protection is too good to pass up especially pairing with takeda you've got when healed troops led by this commander will have their attack increased by nine percent you're getting healed all the time you're getting healed all the time with this pairing Saladin with takeda gets healed all the time so you're going to have this attack damage all the time again you got the skill damage reduction here you've got the enhancing healing effects received from elixir you've also got another skill damage reduction up here with emblazoned shield and if i wanted to get really crazy with it i could add moment of triumph in there for an extra um i think it's nine percent damage dealt for the first ten percent of health of the army which again this army is so tanky it would work it would work for sure but then i would have to give something else up i'd have to give up dragon saber which is normal attack damage of all troops led by this commander by one and a half percent um i may actually do that <laughs> now that i'm thinking about it i may want that extra damage at the first 10 percent and then uh forego dragon saber if i made a change that would be it but this is a really good solid all-around build it covers everything you get tons of skill skill damage reduction you get tons of skill damage boosts you get rage you get counterattack damage taken reductions you just got everything that you need healing enhancements galore uh skill damage or skill damage reduction here as well uh, 50 percent chance that you'll get a 15 percent skill damage reduction for the next three seconds when you take skill damage which you don't take much damage of at all because of all the skill damage reduction it's just so good guys it's so good um, this is a great pairing and again because of takeda's primary skill this is amazing for infantry groups like i i can't believe that this isn't more of a thing like 50 percent normal attack damage for all the groups hitting it there's a 50 percent damage to receive an extra 50 percent normal attack damage and this is a debuff guys this is not for this army this is for everybody hitting it not even just you <laughs> it's everybody if you want to focus somebody down fierce as fire fierce as the fire is oh, it's gangsta all right so that's what we're talking about that's what we're going with let me pop all these guys out so you can see them one last time we've got richard alex tried and true and again you can make some adjustments however you want but these are all really solid pairings Constantine YSG. We've got Charles Sun Tzu again, very tried and true. Can go Charles Julius there if you want to. Guan Mehmed, absolute beast. And then finally, Saudan Takeda. Look at that. So look at that. That's our that's our pairings, guys. That's the way to do it. And again, this fifth army right here. Even though it's not infantry, it is one of infantry's best friends. So you definitely want to have that in your pairing somewhere. There's obviously going to be quite a few Sal and Takedas out there. Why not have them be one of yours? You're causing significant amount of damage. This is a super tanky cav army. This is basically the infantry version of cavalry. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I kind of went a little too deep in there, but I hope you guys got what you needed. This is my updated infantry guide with all the talent builds with all of the pairings, my thought process behind the talent builds, and again, some swap arounds if you want to do some secondary changes, uh, things like that. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see y'all next time. Cheers, have a good one, and take care.